Alright, let's have a look at Metallica Cure of the Load album today. So this is in E flat standard tuning. There's the E flat. Okay, so all the strings down one half step already. And we're gonna open with this kind of main riff. like that right so basically what we have here open with the power chord then G third fret on E like, and you shake the string here and then back to E power chord right uh, and that riff starts it's a syncopated rhythm so it starts on four end <coughs> beat right and there, right after this short break and then you have a little chuck and then you have this and then back to the beginning so we have the hammer on 5 to 6 and then 5 on A and I like to play it like this so I do this hammer on not like this but I use my ring finger on each string and then I do a fifth fret on A with my middle finger and then I slide down to the E power chord back to, uh, to be the beginning of the riff Right, so and so on. And you play that riff, uh, I mean, roughly 10 times, so 10 and a half, however you count it. Uh, but you will know you close to the end of the riff if you follow the, you know, here singing. And also at the end of this whole, uh, this first uh, line here, uh, Lars will be getting slightly more intense on his drumming, okay, and that's your cue that you're gonna switch to the next riff, which will be the kind of chorus riff, right? Uh, that one, and we have that riff on the next slide. Here we go, and uh, yeah, basically, you're gonna do this so slide down from that fifth on A down here, and yeah, you're gonna play this riff, you know. So it's kind of a, I don't know, <laughs> maybe slightly complicated riff, but not too complicated. Um, so you have this big inverted power chord here in, at the beginning of the riff, right? Right, and then, yeah. So, uh, so if you look at the fourth bar in the first line, um, uh, the, uh, the second last note here, I wrote third fret on E, right? Uh, if you kind of if you listen to both track, uh, both tracks, left and right on the recording, uh, the left track I can hear the third fret, but on the right track I hear. Open E, I think that's the Kirk's part. So they play different notes there, I think. Um, so yeah, so we can play either. Uh, right, so that's the chorus part. Uh, then, yeah, after the chorus we're gonna come here. First line here, yeah, we're back to the verse right after this, after this part. But um, in the first line, you're gonna have the that riff, right? So basically, you're gonna slide out to six fret on E, and then you have open E uh, 
like three times, like, and it would show the breaks in between the notes, so like, uh, and uh, yeah, so three times open E, and then right away you have free and open again, right? So. And uh, you can hear when the recording just a little check in there. Like, uh, but that's played by another guitar, I think. Uh, I put it together with the first, with this uh, first guitar, so to speak, in the here in the uh, in the tab. But uh, you don't have to play those shots, okay? Just play the uh, underlying riff, so. That one. Uh, right, and then at the end of the first line, this, and then back to the verse riff. And uh, basically, you're gonna play the same thing as you played in the very beginning, but you're gonna play that riff only f like five, six times. And then you again, you're gonna go back and play the second chorus right after that, and you're gonna play the chorus riff from the previous slide, okay? So do that, and then after the second chorus, you're gonna come here, slide four, interlude. And uh, so here we're gonna have this little kind of simple riff. Part. Uh, so, in the beginning there, uh, Kirk is playing this, right? So basically you're gonna do a 9th fret on G and 8th fret on B, and then you're gonna switch uh, between 8th and 7th fret on the B string, right, and play this, like this. So yeah, so you play either that or you play the James riff, which you have in the tab, right? And that's the interlude, straightforward. And then slide 5, we have, we have the guitar solo button riff. mistake at the end. Uh, so basically this riff is made up of riffs you already know, uh, except they're in the middle instead of... You have this repetitive figure that you play uh, for five times. Um, but other than that, yeah, it should be straightforward, okay? And then we come here to the in next interlude and basically it's the same as before. Uh, the ending it will be a bit longer here, um, okay, and it's gonna carry on, I'm not gonna play this tab because you already know this, but we're gonna go on to a slide 7 then, uh, and you're gonna have the a new riff, a bridge riff. That first part there, yeah, most of it should be straightforward, this part for example. But then, I think what they do in there is to basically bend this uh, inverted power chord, 7 and 7 on A and D. Okay, so basically you hold those strings like that and you bend down and back. Like a quick slide, two frets higher, higher up, and and then that's it, right? And 
like that. And then in the following uh, couple of times, they're gonna bend those strings twice, like quickly, right? So, yeah, it's something like that, okay? So play around with that. Uh, I haven't actually practiced that too much, so... <laughs> but it's something like, uh, like that. And the final times, they have this gradual bend. Uh, sorry, gradual uh, the release of the bend. Kind of like that. It's very hard to mimic that. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's it. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna commence a new riff at the end of the second line. So here we're gonna bend the fifth fret on E. And uh, you kind of bend it like uh, gradually, kind of. You, so first you play the swift thread, right? And then you start to bend it after like a short, uh, a short time after you strike the string. So okay, and then that riff continues onto the next side uh, here. Then uh, one more time on that. Right, and then at the end of the second uh, bar in the second line, we have a new riff. Yeah, and the uh, and oh sorry. And that will be the end of that riff. Um, so, uh, right, uh, we're gonna come finally to the interlude and the outro part right here on side nine. So, this riff you already know from it's the same as the previous interludes. And yeah, you can do this instead if you want, right? And uh, yeah, basically you play through this tab, you should recognize everything. So if I start that deferred bar and play to the end, it's gonna be this. So that second the last bar, that is played by a second guitar, but the first guitar plays the original riff, right here, so you can play either, right? And that's it, guys, that's Cure Metallica, have fun with this. <laughs>